What are you talking about? I'm talking about the key to the gravy train, my friend. My kinsman. <laughs> Listen to me. You gotta dump Carlo. How else are you gonna do some serious mingling with that ball and chain hanging around? Man, lose the thought. I'm not going for search and destroy. This is strictly the real deal. I don't know what you see in her. And Carla's sugar-coated, man. She's the one. We're gonna always be together. You're deluded. Hey, Trev, check out those two. They've been cruising this aisle all night. Maybe they like you. I yeah, don't doubt it. That old guy's been eyeing me like I was a Baywatch blonde. <laughs> Vic Kula, please see the assistant manager in aisle five. Dude, you're busted. That old couple must have heard you dissing him and told Scotty. Maybe I'll see you on the unemployment line. <laughs> Did you? hear a scream? Scream? No. Vic, what are you doing? If Scotty and Mr. Kravis catch you playing around, they're gonna flip and can your butt. Excuse me. Give me one good reason why Vic was mingling with the popsicles. Vic is weird. Something's freaky. I can feel it. Vic. What's up? I quit. Huh? I'm moving on to bigger and better things, kids. I don't have just me to think about anymore. You look lovely tonight, Carla. He's so weird. We have to get out of here. Something freaky is definitely going on. I can't just leave. I'll be fired. Forget the job. We're in danger. Trev, listen to yourself. Your sugar intake's peaked. I'm completely sane. No one is sane here. It's a heinous Muzak and harsh fluorescent lighting. It throws everyone out of whack. Carla Satchel to aisle five. Catch you later. Carla, don't. <laughs> People are going into aisle five and coming back different. I think you've been watching too many scary movies. Carlos Satchel, Wild Five.
Remember the plan. All we gotta do is hang for another couple months, and then we're out of here. Why don't you just let her do her job? I thought you left. Just came back to do a little shopping. For God's sake, Carla! Don't go near there! Carla! Carla! No! Carla! Get away from there! I want to know, I want to know, what happened to Carla? Carla went home. She wasn't feeling well. Don't lie to me. I saw what's going down on aisle five. Aisle five? I'm not sure I understand. You know what I'm talking about. The guys who work here, they're being changed. Changed, Mr. Mooney? In what way? Talk to me. What's wrong with this place? Nothing's wrong. Business is better than ever. In fact, we're running low on stock. And what do you mean? The shelves are full. I stock them myself. Why don't you and I go have a look at aisle five? I forget that. I'm not going anywhere near there. Very well. I'll go see if something's going on. Let's go, Trevor. I have a customer waiting. The only way out of our unproductive lives. Youth is wasted on the young, Trevor. Especially those whose lives are going nowhere. That's garbage. You're here old. You're dying, so you're stealing young bodies. That's what you're doing. Trust me. It's better like this. We're gonna do more with your life than you ever would have. Let's conclude this transaction, shall we? Think of it, Trevor. Think of how easy things will be. We've been through it all. We've got the wisdom not to make the same mistakes again. I like who I am. I like making my own mistakes. Give me the chance to make something of my life. Don't you get it? You don't have a life anymore, Trevor. You've been bought. Then I should warn you up front, mister. You just bought yourself defective merchandise. It's all right. They're, they're all a bit feisty at first. What the hell we're all alike? We're not all alike. We're not all alike. Look, life may stink sometimes, but I'm not ready to disappear. Listen up, old man. You may rip off my body, but there is no way you're getting the rest. See how much fun you'll have inside me. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, because I'm not bailing. I'll be making your life miserable, fighting you every minute, every hour, every step of the way. I'm sorry, Mr. Mooney, there's been a misunderstanding here. It's unfortunate, but I'm going to have to let you go. Let me go? There's no sale here. But given your newfound strength of character, I'm afraid you really are defective merchandise after all.
He'll be back in about 50 years. I don't think so. He said I was selling bodies? Yes, sir. Those were his very words. Well, it sounds like Trevor Moody was trying to get back at me for letting him go. Mm. I tried to give the kid a break, but as you can see by this crazy story, he was a troublemaker. Sorry to waste your time, sir. By the way, if you still need someone, I got a son who could use a job. Really? How old is he? Nineteen. Lord knows he could use a little structure and discipline in his life. Send him by. We'll make a new man out of him. See how much fun you'll have inside me. It's going to be a tight squeeze, finding you every minute, every hour, every step of the way. 